Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I'll be showing you a few more mini tips. I want to show you the screen recording feature I always use. You swipe down from the top right, open the control center with all the buttons, and there's this two circle one right here. This starts the screen recording. It actually records what's on screen and makes it into a video. But did you know you can also record sound as well? I think lots of people don't. I always put my own voice together with the recordings when I do my iPad tutorials, so I want to show you how. First, you press and hold the screen recording button. After that, this microphone on and off button will show up. So set this to on. It's probably off by default, which is why you can't hear your voice. So let's make this on and off button red for on. And now if you press the screen recording button, it will record your screen and your voice and put them together. Let's try doing it as normal. Now here's a little bit about how to arrange pictures in your photo app. Open the photo app and at the top left here, there is a tab display button. This section is called the sidebar. If you get good at using this, you'll be much better at organizing your photos. If you go to the very button on the sidebar, there's an option label make a new album. Press it and you can create a brand new album. It doesn't matter how you name it, so let's go with book. Now you can see that at the top of the album section in the sidebar, we have a new album called book. You can pack this full of different photos and they'll all be nicely arranged for you when you look at it later. Let's choose some pictures. Select them, and with them all picked out, press and hold. Keep on holding and drag them over to the sidebar on the left. Make sure not to let go. Keep your finger on the screen and bring them over. Then let go. Now all the pictures we chose are in this album. This is a great way to organize your pictures. And that's it! Now that we're finished, the brand new video app shows up in our photo app. So we're going to edit it. Now here's a little bit about how to arrange pictures in your photo app. Open the photo app, and at the top left here, there is a tab display option. If you go to the very button on the sidebar, there is an option label make a new album. Press it, and you can create a brand new album. Let's choose some pictures. We are going to pick all the photos we want to put in the album. While we are still holding, we bring the photos to the sidebar, and then let go. There you go, we can hear the audio nice and clear. There isn't any mouse pointer on the screen though, so you have to make sure to say out loud where the sidebar on the left or the select button at the top right are. But when you just want to show people how to do something quickly, this is a great tool. And when we want to send the video to others, we select it and in the share menu, we choose an app. Messenger, Line, whatever works. Just choose an app to send it with and off it goes. It's a super simple way to explain something. For my YouTube videos, I have a camera pointed downwards, but I can't do that for everything, so I use this to teach people too. But there is more. In the top right hand control panel, if you press and hold the screen recording option, you can turn the microphone on or off and record different apps. But pressing and holding also works for the other buttons. For example, let's press this timer button. This lets us choose how long to set a timer for. You can roughly pick how many minutes you want the timer to be for. We also have the flashlight, which lets you choose the brightness. There might not be a lot of people using the iPad flashlight, but you can adjust it here. And the screen brightness too. If you press and hold it, there are options for turning on dark mode, Lots of people use this, Night nice Shift and True Tone. If you press and hold this Wi-Fi section here, 
You can adjust the airdrop sharing settings or turn Bluetooth devices on or off. There is also the Note app. Press and holding lets you open a new note or scan and digitalize paper documents. For example, if you press open new note, it will immediately open a new note for you. Finally, we should talk about the control center settings. If you go into settings, there should be a tab labeled Control Center on the left hand side. It's separated into top and bottom sections. The top section has all the things that are currently in the control center. The bottom section is all the things that aren't there. If you want to add anything, just press the plus button and it will move to the top. This way you can customize the control center according to your preferences. And with that, let's end for today. I'll be releasing more of these mini tips videos too, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.